Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the AngularJS video tutorials. In our last video tutorial, we have seen the form validation uh, with a different kind of AngularJS validation like uh, ng minimum length, maximum length, pattern, uh, required email, mobile number validation, all that stuff. Okay, today we are going to continue that example with a custom validation. Okay. So the basically uh, what kind of custom validation we are going to define that is uh, contains okay suppose we are adding uh, a string and uh, if there is a particular characters our in our string then uh, the validation is successful otherwise fail right so if you see I have created already an example that is a custom validation okay and uh, here custom value is required that means this is all as usual this is a required field and as soon as user enters a b should be available okay whatever the user enters there should be a a b available like if i enter something like this and there is not a b then i are adding a, a b the validation gets successful okay and again if we remove this the validation fails okay and uh, all this stuff is uh, created by using a custom directive okay custom angular js directive so today we are gonna see how we can create a custom directive for the angular js okay so first of all this is the section which we uh, which i have added uh, on the basis of our last video tutorial okay so here the name is uh, type is equal to test name is equal to custom validate this is our uh, ng model and required okay and this is our attribute right uh, okay uh, first of all uh, let's create attribute okay to create attribute you have to add uh, the particular section uh, inside your app js file that is app dot directive ab contains okay now here are some rules to create a directive uh, the directive name must in camel case that means the first character should be a small case okay and then the first uh, then the capital letters okay uh, this is our ab contains that means ab is a value and contains is our name right then uh, it takes a callback function and uh, we are returning the value as an object okay so here require require that is ng model that means whenever we implement this uh, directive then uh, there should be a ng model available so here i have added a ng model control uh, ng model okay and then the link link is a function which uh, returns the four parameters scope element attribute and control right and uh, in that we have created a small function called my validation okay you can name it as per your requirements whatever you want okay uh, which returns a value uh, which is entered into the text box okay whatever the uh, value entered in the text box will fetch inside the value variable okay and then we are adding our custom logic over here okay we are finding whether the ab is available in the string or not if the position is greater than minus one then we are saying to control that set validity by using the set validity function that the character occurrences is true that means we uh, the ab is available into the inputted string and if not the value is not available then the ab is not available that's we are setting it to false okay and uh, lastly we are returning that value that means whatever the user is entering we are again returning the value right and at last this function we are uh, sending this function to our parsers okay this is the predefined uh, collection and we have to just pass this function into the parser okay this is the array in which we have set these functions and angular js will automatically executes uh, this directive as soon as he finds 
the particular directive inside your attribute inside your element okay and now that there is a second rule the second rule is whatever we use here like a b contains um, on the first capital letters you have to write it like this dash okay that means you cannot write like this a b contains or uh, a b contains right you have to write like this a b contains okay why i am setting uh, a dash over here uh, as soon as i find the first capital uh, letter uh, in previously you have to set a dash line okay that's the only way you can uh, execute a directive properly otherwise it will not work properly right and uh, as usual uh, we have set at the uh, span tag for the required field and valid okay and uh, this is the valid property which tells us whether this attribute is uh, validated or not right it's a very simple and uh, lastly we are getting all the uh, steps as, as soon as the form is submitted okay so here I'll add everything and uh, B. okay now we are clicking on submit button the, all the values are uh, fetched from the models right and uh, there is one more thing which I would like to tell you that is here you can use this as an attribute this uh, AB as an tag as well like AB dash contains okay uh, by default directive has a attribute and uh, okay there is a particular name let me search that what is the exact name uh, custom directives in angularjs okay mm, what is the exact name i got forgot here here is names like uh, element name that is e attribute a class name c and a comments okay that means whenever uh, by default e and a is available that means you can use this as an element this as an element or as an attribute and if you want to use this as an class then uh, how you can do that just type class is equal to a b dash contains okay and uh, it will automatically uh, validate according to this stuff and uh, for that you have to uh, maintain or you have to assign the value to like Okay, and uh, the value is uh, here. You have to manage the restrict property to element only. Okay, or you can also set it as an attribute and as a class, right? So we can implement that uh, inside a class as well. Now let's try. I haven't tried this. Class equals to a b contains. Okay, and uh, here we we'll load it A B. Yes, it's working fine, right? As soon as well as this, you can uh, maintain your or you can write your own logic to implement uh, the custom validation uh, for the Angular JS. I hope you guys have enjoyed all the tutorials, and uh, if you want to watch my all video tutorials, you can watch it on uh, YouTube.com/slash/webboostings or on uh, infologs.in, right? 
and uh, till then don't forget to subscribe this channel for latest video tutorials and uh, thank you for watching keep learning bye bye and i just want to tell you about my uh, video sponsors devmountain.com uh, just because of them i'm recording this video tutorial for you guys actually they are running a coding boot camp and they provided a different kind of courses like a web development web development ios development and ux design for the full time and after hours okay uh, the main important point they'll teach you everything that you need to take a job in this field okay so uh, i would like to request to just check out their website demartin.com and uh, i have already put uh, put down the links inside the description box below and uh, one more thing if you do contact with them just tell them my reference okay uh, till then keep learning bye bye